Um, a few people have been asking me for my makeup routine, so that's what I'm gonna do. I don't really do makeup, like makeup isn't my thing. Obviously I wear makeup, but I don't really feel like qualified. So I start with this hyaluronic acid serum. Then after that, I go in with this spot cream. Um, then I'm gonna go in with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This moisturizer is really nice, I really like it. It's not greasy at all. I break out easily um, and I don't tend to break out with this. Then the next step is my sun cream. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put my sun cream on before or after my moisturizer. I literally just like, every day it's different. All right, and then I always start with my eyebrows. Revolution Soap Brow. Yeah, it just looks like this. Um, and then I go in with the Revolution pencil. I don't know what you'd call this. And what I always do is I take it so that it's just come out a tiny, tiny bit. And then I'll just like scratch it on. And then I've got like a really sharp edge. I'm not sure how well the camera is picking that up. But then with that really sharp corner, I'll now draw like really fine individual hairs on my eyebrow. Just while I'm doing my face and powdering it and stuff, my eyebrows kind of get um, a bit more faded, which I kind of like because it makes them look a little bit more natural. But then I do tend to go in at the end and just like redo a few of the individual strokes. So this is like my eyebrows are still not completely finished because this isn't exactly how they'll look. They'll kind of look like a softened version of this. Next, I'm gonna carve out my eyebrows with the Rimmel London Match Perfect Concealer. And I've got the shade 010 Porcelain. This is another like favourite from my life. I haven't actually switched up my makeup in a long time. I've been using this since I was like 18. I remember it was like when I first started going out and sometimes the pictures would look good after a night out and sometimes they would look shit. And then I realised that the difference was literally my concealer. And then carving out my eyebrows just made me realise that this one was slightly lower than this one. So there are some gaps there where the eyebrow doesn't quite meet the eyeliner. Um, so then I'll just fill that in there. Okay, so then this, these are the brows so far. Then I squeezed out loads of concealer by accident, which I always do, but it's fine. Um, and then I'm just gonna go and put all of that concealer on my spots, so my whole face. And then I just blend that in with this brush. Um, I have no idea what this brush is. I got it from Boots, that's all I know. I think it's actually just like Boots' his own brand. Okay, now after I concealed, um, I actually go and set my whole face with some loose setting powder and I use quite a thin layer of powder um, but I do really work it into my skin. Oh, someone's just started hoovering, I hope you can't hear that. So yeah, then I just use the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Setting Spray and yeah, this just makes my foundation look so poreless because um, I think the powder has like gone into my pores and then I'm setting it and now I'm like working on like a really, really flat, smooth canvas. And you are going to need the setting spray to be completely dry before you go in with your foundation, otherwise it goes like this weird, tacky, like the powder clumps and it's just like a hot mess. And that is in the shade 21 Nude Beige. 
Basically, I just used the sponge to get a thin layer of the foundation all over my face and then I do blend the majority of it out with my foundation brush. Then the next thing that I do is um, I go in with another concealer. This is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Razor Classic. Everyone has this. On the back of my hand again. And I just go over any areas that need extra coverage. So this concealer is a lot closer to the colour of my foundation. It's slightly lighter but only by a shade whereas the other one is like really really bright. I also like to use this concealer to carve out the top of my eyebrows rather than um, am I even in focus? Rather than the um, really light concealer because I don't want like it just doesn't make sense to use a really light concealer above your eyebrow. And this is where I might lose some of the definition from my eyebrows, just blending in the concealer. Um, it's actually alright today, like it hasn't messed them up too much. Put some of that concealer over my eyelid as well. For me, for my concealer, I'm more interested in keeping the concealer in the middle of my face. My concealer would be more of a triangle underneath my eyes to my nose than I know like that's like the old way to do concealers. Um, my eyes are never gonna look like pulled back cat eyes. That's just not the shape that my face has. So I like my features in the middle of my face to come forward and then everything around the outside to be bronzed and I feel like it makes my face look smaller and more petite and all of my features kind of look more dainty. Okay, so the next step as my bronzer is I go in with this e.l.f. powder foundation but I've got the shade medium 33W and it is quite warm and quite dark so I like to use that as my bronzer so I just take a really wide fluffy brush this is the Morphe M527 and pat that off the reason why I don't need to set my face before I use this is because it is a powder foundation, it's really really creamy and it's like the most blendable powder um, I've ever used. So that was just kind of to warm up my face and then I go in with a smaller brush and I put it in a few more specific areas. So. So now that I've done that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my Brimble Concealer um, which as I said is a lot lighter than the rest of my foundation and I'm just going to go in and like bring out all of the parts that I want to highlight. So what I like to do for my nose contour is basically like a backwards nose contour where like I put the bronzer on really kind of over my entire face and then afterwards I'm going to go in with the light to carve out what I want because I find that if I do it the other way around and I try and put like darker contour lines over my nose my nose looks really it just looks like it's got visible dark lines on it like I find that I just find it really hard to blend out that's what I'm trying to say so I take this here and I I'm gonna draw my little triangles under my eyes Oh, 
Also, I lightly set and then I bake. Um, but I just like to set it first of all and then bake because swishing the brush back and forth, I feel like it gets into all of the crevices and it, it sets all of the concealer without it being able to settle into my under eye creases, that's it. And then when I bake over the top of that, that's what gives me like the brightness that I want. But yeah, if I were to bake straight away, I would feel like I get more creases underneath my eyes, on my under eyes. Then I am just going to take a little bit of this concealer here to brighten up my forehead. Um, I just put a bit of foundation here, um, concealer here sometimes, kind of like lifts up the balls of my cheek. And then I'm just going to go and set the rest of my makeup with this pressed powder. Um, and then I'm just going to sweep off my bake. I don't think it needs to be on there for very long. And you've probably noticed I'm quite heavy with the um, powder. That's because I just feel like powder blurs everything. I'm going to go in one more time with a little bit more of my elf pressed powder because I do feel like like setting it and everything like that it kind of mutes the tones a bit. Then I go in with my um MUA matte powder blush which is in rose tea. This one is 400 molten gold and like it just makes you look dewy so I put so much powder into my face my whole face is like pretty matte but this just puts the glow back into my face I always set my face before I put on my mascara because otherwise I feel like I can't blink without it like possibly transferring onto my face which I obviously don't want so this is how my skin is looking so far then for my lips I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in Pillow Talk and I don't really overline my lips because it always looks a bit shit but I do kind of like the top of my lips I feel like the bottom of my bottom lips quite nice and then my top lip is really narrow it doesn't like go all the way to like the crease so I don't really consider it overlining I feel like I'm just correcting a mistake and um, so I'll, I'll do the bottom lip first like that is obviously slightly overlined but I just feel like it makes more sense and then I have quite a pronounced cu cupid's bow and I don't know how I feel about it I sometimes I go with it sometimes I don't I, I do kind of try and round it off a bit I think it looks kind of like I'm an old lady if I have like a properly pointy cupid's bow but And then the lipstick that I use is Velvet Teddy by MAC. I always use Velvet Teddy and I don't even know if I like it. And then finally for mascara, I just use this Revolution Big Lash Volume um, Mascara. Right, so that is my full makeup routine. Yeah, I just feel like this makes my skin look the best that it can look. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!